understand myself this day. I keep falling in love with you more and more these days. I don't understand. Eh? Seriously. <laughs> see, anytime I see you sing in the choir, my body will be doing me somehow. <laughs> Same here, maybe because you are not a boy. When you carry your cross and you, you're raising it up, you look holy and innocent. Oh, <laughs> you mean I am not holy and innocent? Are you holy and innocent? Oh, no, by the time we get to the hostel room, by the time you start begging me for something, we'll know if you're holy or innocent. Let's go first, it's you that will be running down. <laughs> I don't, I won't allow this to continue. You know it's a sin. Yes, I feel the same way too, okay? I feel it. <laughs> but I can't resist. I can't resist you. Can Until we just kiss you. and stop? Just, just kissing, it's fine. Huh. Uh, uh, you know when we start kissing, you know that this is my small stand. I want to stand. Cannot go down again until we do the other one. Oh, come on. You see, uh -huh. Reverend Father said that whenever we that whenever I, I come in sin, I can come to I can come for confession and after that God will forgive me. Mm. Yes. So I mean it's left to and go for confession. I I think it's a good idea. <laughs> Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. I have not been coming for confession. I think the last time I came for confession was uh, last year. I have sinned so much. I don't even know how to start. You see, my daughter, you can start from anywhere. Anywhere you can remember. Father, I committed fornication. And I've been doing it since with my boyfriend. Holy Mary, Mother of God. I've always lied to my parents. Sometimes I lie to them that I'm going to church. And I end up in my boyfriend's place. I cheat in the exam. In fact, I carry several books into the exam hall. It's okay. Our God is an ever forgiving Father. No matter how heavy and deep your sins are, provided you are ready to forsake and turn away from your sinful ways, He is always ready to forgive and accept you back. It's okay. okay we have to say, one decade of erosion, one our father, one Hail Mary, and one glory be. Go and sing no more. Thank you, Father. Father. Same dear. Are you not um Steph, Father? Oh, Steph Nora, how are you doing? Fine, sir. But where are you heading to? I went to visit a friend in the campus. I'm going home, sir. Are you sure it's not that you're Ah, Father? I thought you're not supposed to disclose confessions. And I did not. Uh, I did not. Besides, it's just the both of us that are here, no third party. It's okay, just come in, let me drop you off, okay? Thank you, Father.
Thank you, Father. I'm oh. grateful. Oh. Oh, you, you're welcome. Oh. Holy Mary, Steph Nora. Father. You're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. Are you the only one that is carrying all these things? <laughs> Thank you, Father. You see, Steph Nora, I will. You see, um, I'll need you to come over to my quarters tomorrow so we could uh, discuss. You know, do some prayer and counseling. Uh, let's say 6 p.m. No. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll come. Oh, good, good. I'll, I'll come. All right. Take care. Okay. Thank you, Father. All right. I was beginning to think you would not make it. Why won't I? <laughs> You're the only one that takes my confession and you promised me the way to heaven. <laughs> You're funny, dear. Well, I take everyone's confession and again, I am called to serve and that is what I am doing. So whichever thing you need, you can come to me, I will give it to you. And don't forget, Jesus Christ is the way to heaven. <sighs> That's very thoughtful of you, Father. You have a nice place. <laughs> you like the place? Yes. Very well then. You are always welcome. You're free to visit me anytime, any day. Seriously? Of course. <laughs> Thank you, Father. <laughs> You're welcome. So what can I offer you? Um, anything. Okay. Uh, you see, I want us to discuss about your confession the last time. That was why I invited you over. Father, what about my last confession? I thought you said my sins have been forgiven. Yes, your sins have been forgiven, but I don't want you to make mistakes next time. So I want to ask you, that's your boyfriend, does he use condom? Father, I wasn't expecting to hear that from you. You see the problems we're having in our society. We pretend a lot and in the end of the day we make mistakes. Right? Tell me, that's your boyfriend, does he use condom? Well, occasionally, yeah. See, that's very bad. It's very bad. He should use condoms all the time. Father, yes. I was expecting you to tell me to stop in time. Why should I? You are a young girl in your prime, and besides, we serve an ever-forgiving father, don't we? You're right, father. So, how do you think we, Reverend Father, survive? Yeah? We, we are human, and sometimes we desire flesh as well. I don't know about that, Father. I've not done with Reverend Father before. This is Steph Nora. You see, Steph Nora, we, we, we get help from people like you from time to time. You know, they, they help us ease up, build stress and tension. You know, and that brings me to the reason I was talking about uh, using of condoms to, to avoid you from getting pregnant and or you know, you know contacting a disease. Okay. So, so uh, you're going to help me, right? Come on, sit Borrow 
I was here for confession last week, but I seem to have committed fornication again, Father. And who did you do it with? Father, am I supposed to say here? Of course, your confessions are just between you and I. Okay, Father. I slept with the Reverend Father and my boyfriend last weekend. And to be honest, I enjoyed every bit of them. And I also stole money from my mom. That's a big one. The, our God will always forgive you as long as you are truly repentant. Father, I don't know how to do this. I have fallen in love with the Reverend Father. The way he makes love to me. I doubt if I will ever leave him. That's so serious. And what about your boyfriend? I can leave him if the Reverend Father continues to make love to me. God have mercy. Amen. Okay, in that case, I think you will need to see me this evening for some prayers and counseling. Okay? Thank you, Father. May God be with you. Thank you. Say five decades of uh, rosary, one glory be, one our Father and one heavenly. Thank you, Father. Go and sing no more. Thank you. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. For the last six months, Father, I have not come for confession. Are you not Boniface, the cross-bearer altar boys? Yes, I am, Father. You are always at the church. How come you have not been coming for confessions when you know it is very important? I am so sorry, Father. It's okay. Go on with your confession. Yes, Father. Uh, Father, know that I'm... I'm a virgin. I've been having sex with my girlfriend for a very long time now. Holy Father. Mary, Mother of God. I, I couldn't bring it to confess, Father. So, when have you, since when have you been doing this? For, for a year now, Father. How many times? I don't understand, Father. I mean, how many times have you been committing this particular sin? For a very long time, Father. You see, Boniface, you have to stop. Yes. You have to stop and turn away from your evil ways. And I believe our good Lord will forgive you and accept you back. Thank you, Father. So who is this girl you have been committing this sin with? She just left before me now, Father. Stefanora, you mean? Yes, Father. It, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, you, you go say one, our Father, one Hail Mary and one Glory be. Go and sin no more. Thank you, Father. Stop, please stop. Uh, uh, What's stop. the problem? Uh, yeah. See, if you, you, you know that if you start kissing me now, I, I can't control myself again. Just stop, please. What's the meaning of that? Eh? Yes, we have to stop having sex. Father John advised me to, to stop having sex because it is very, very, very wrong. I see. The confession we went to, right? But the same Father John said 
that God is an ever forgiving father, he will forgive us our sins. Mm. Eh? See, see, let me tell you. Oh. He said I should I should focus on my studies. She focus on your studies. Yes, yes. He's no God. We can do what we want. Eh? He's no God. See, see, Steph. See, I like you. But <sighs> we can be friends. Let's just let's just be friends only. That is all. Please. No way. There's no way we'll remain friends without you making love to me. It cannot happen. No way. Eh? I can't expect me to be friends without making love to you. Eh? No, 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 no. Just stop, just stop. Steph, what happened? I expected you yesterday. Sorry, Father, I was busy yesterday. Oh, I see. Why is your face like that? What happened? What's wrong? Father, why did you tell my boyfriend to stop loving me? He has stopped loving me. Who is your boyfriend? I don't understand. Bonnie, we came together yesterday for confession. Oh, that. You see, I told him what I was supposed to tell him as your reverend father. Or were you expecting me to encourage him on fornication? Father. Yes. He has stopped loving me. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Can I ask you one question? Stopped loving you or stopped having sex with you? Both. The both, father. <sighs> you see, Steph, we have to get things straight here and we have to take this one step at a time. Love and sex are two different things entirely. If after the confession, Bonnie, you said, right, decides to change from his old ways, then let him be. Father, how can I do that? I can't cope without him being around me, without him touching me. My exams, who will do that for me, it, Father? It, it, it's okay. You just have to let him be. Let him be. I see. That you are wicked and you are jealous. Because I allowed you to sleep with me, it will not happen again. It won't. See, Steph, this is not what you have to get angry about. Okay? You just have to calm yourself down. So, um, uh, this time around, I'm going to make you scream loud. So loud. What happens to my exams, Father? Who is going to bring in written papers for me? You have to fix this, though. You have to. You see, you don't have to worry about that, okay? I will teach you. Okay? Everything is going to be fine. Come and kiss me. You are sick. Like, you are sick. Get out. You see, I have a meeting with the church members, please. The meeting can wait. You promised me any time I want it. Yes, I, I did. I know I did. But you know, someone might walk in. Okay. Please. I'll shut the door and have a quick. Okay. Okay. 